SWAT vehicle that they had dispatched quickly to this area. Uh, again, that is, they mean business right now. They, they want to bring this to That's a, a to very a uh, bold move, and there's got to be a reason uh, behind that here. Now, that would block any sort of escape by Daniel Perez, no. who is in the driver's seat right now. But also, CHP had indicated to us that they had put down a spike strip just ahead of where that Toyota Camry had come to a stop on that freeway. So even if he thought that he was going to make some sort of quick escape and maybe, you know, make a maneuver around that SWAT vehicle, he'd quickly run into that spike strip and his car would be disabled. And we have no idea what's happening here. If this was a purpose of communication, uh, a purpose of a show of force. There's some movement from behind that vehicle right now. Yeah. Presumably those are SWAT members that are inside, perhaps looking to exit the vehicle. This has changed very fast. I mean, that is, if you're sitting there and suspect pretty calmly, oh, well, look, no, Chris, now from the back, too, they're coming too. in. And look how many of the SWAT officers are inside yeah. of that mobile unit. They're really just going to box in that vehicle right now. For whatever reason, they want to bring this to a conclusion. They want those kids quickly. out of that vehicle. Uh, maybe something was said on the phone if there was communication, maybe there's some type of visual sign. Uh, maybe what they saw in those thermal images made them decide uh, that they need to end this quickly. And I, and I think we are all praying that this is about to end in, in, in a good The SWAT way. members you can see on the left of your screen all have weapons drawn. None of them appear to be pointed directly at the vehicle, but they are all obviously armed and, and ready to respond. They're walking very calmly. There's no real rush here. Really unsure as we all watch this together what's about to, to happen. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. The passenger door is opening. There's movement. Okay. That's the suspect That's on the, the cell phone. That's the suspect in the cell phone. Child in hand. Two, there's the second I don't child see any as weapon. Well. I see a cell phone and a child. And He's both holding. children look well. And both of them are staying with their father at this point. Now, again, two oh, children have been God. released. Okay. All right. He's trying to escape. The children are okay. There the suspect go. is down on the ground. And the children appear oh. okay. Oh. oh, man. Wow. That is the resolution that we had hoped for. Did you see Daniel the, Perez, though? It almost looked as if he was yeah. going to jump over And, and we were hoping highway. to not, not throw a child over. Or, uh, so so okay. this is good. All, the children four, are all okay. four children are okay. They are safe. He's down on the ground. Don't know if a shot was fired or not. It didn't appear like it, but we're it, not sure. It didn't look like Daniel yeah. Perez had any sort of weapon drawn. No. It looked like he was holding one, one cell of the phone. children with one hand, yeah. and then he had his cell phone in his other hand. And we had presumed uh, the entire time that he had been on the phone yeah. with authorities. Man, that is that is uh, an example of uh, police precision, and, and, oh. and unbelievable that that ended uh, the, the, the way it did here. Those children, what they've been through. I'm and, just so, and I know this is a collective response, just so happy that all four of those boys oh, are okay. Again, these boys ranging in ages from 11 to 6, 11-year-old Jordan, 9-year-old Jaden, 8-year-old Tristan, and 6-year-old Alex, all of them okay. It appears that they were completely unharmed, and they're in the custody of authorities right now. Thank God. You never think your own father could do something like that, and what these children have been through this morning is certainly... They're lifting uh, up Perez right now. Of course, he is the suspect. In the, it looks like he's struggling a little he's bit struggling, with struggling, but he doesn't appear to have been uh, you know, seriously injured. Uh, the children are safely away in the back. They've got their suspect, and, and this situation has come to the, the best end it was going to come into. Now, we still have 